Hello. In this session, we are going to look at how we can uh, integrate our uh, repository, like any version control tool that you are using, how we can integrate that with your Terraform Cloud. So your Terraform Cloud supports some of the version control system that we have. So we'll also look at the options that are available as part of your version control system. So Terraform Cloud is more powerful when we integrate it with the version control system that we are using. So, um, you know, if you're, if you're managing your Terraform on, on a local machine, then you will have to manage uh, the, the code on your local machine or you can pull it from the GitHub itself. Now, when we are talking about a Terraform cloud, uh, we will always store our uh, code in the version control system and then we will tell Terraform to pull the code from the uh, version control system and start using that to create the infrastructure for us. So, although we can use many of the uh, Terraform Cloud's features without one. A version control system connection provides additional features and improved workflow. All right. So in particular, uh, when workspace are linked with a version control system repo, Terraform Cloud can automatically initiate Terraform runs when changes are committed to the specified branch. So one of the advantages that we have is whenever we push any new change um, to the respective repository, it will your Terraform Cloud will automatically start the Terraform run for us. Terraform Cloud makes code review easier by automatically predicting how pull requests will affect the infra and then pushing new versions of a private Terraform module is as easy as pushing a tag to the modules repo. So basically it becomes easier to manage the uh, infrastructure if you are integrating the version control system with our Terraform cloud. So Terraform recommends configuring version control system access when first setting up an organization and you might need to add additional version control system providers later depending on how your organization groups. So you know before we start working with the Terraform cloud it is recommended that we configure all the access, provide the repos and all those setup before we start working with your Terraform. So configuring a new version control system provider requires permission to manage version control system settings for the organization and your Terraform cloud supports the following VCS provider. So we can make use of your GitHub. Uh, we can use GitHub with the OAuth authentication. We can use GitLab. We can use Bitbucket. Uh, we can use Azure DevOps server. Uh, we can use GitHub app. Then we can use GitHub enterprise. We can use GitLab enterprise version as well as your community edition. Uh, we can use Bitbucket server. We can also make use of your Azure DevOps services. So these are some of the options uh, uh, that are available as part of the version control system that we can integrate with the Terraform cloud. So let's look at how we can add the version control system and how we can integrate it with the Terraform cloud. So here is my Terraform cloud that I have. I'm logged into my account. Now there are a couple of ways that you can integrate your version control system and mostly it's a one time process unless you want to change the version control system. Uh, it's a one time process for us. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can either uh, integrate your version control system when you're creating your workspace. In the next session we will be talking about your uh, workspace. So when you're creating the workspace we can specify the version control system that we want to use. Uh, the second option is under settings, uh, you, you can see this uh, version control. So here also we can specify which version control you want to use. So if you go to the providers, uh, so you can see as of now, this is empty. I don't have any version control system. So to add your version control systems, you can either click here, add one now, or you can click on this add a VCS provider. And these are the options you have. So you have GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket and Azure DevOps. So under GitHub, you have GitHub app, GitHub enterprise, github.com, which is customized. So you can give your custom information. Under GitLab, you have the gitlab.com, GitLab community edition, GitLab enterprise edition. Bitbucket, you have Bitbucket cloud and the Bitbucket server. And Azure DevOps, you have Azure DevOps services and Azure DevOps server. In our case, uh, we are going to use GitHub. And if you're doing this for the first time, this GitHub app, should be available for you. Uh, for my account, for some reason, it is not uh, showing this. So in my case, I will use the workspace to integrate the GitHub app. So uh, go back to the workspace and this is empty. So as of now, we don't have any workspaces. So just click on create 
a workspace and these are the options you get so with your terraform cloud there are different different ways that you can work with it so you can use your version control flow which is terraform cloud will automatically get the code from the github and use that to create the infra we can go with your cli driven workflow we can also make use of your api driven workflow now here we are only talking about your version control workflow so click on that and then next it will ask you the version control the provider that you want to use so in our case we are going with github and we are going with github.com now this will ask you for the uh, authentication like you need to give the access so we'll give the username and the respective password and click on sign in so this will uh, authorize or give terraform cloud the necessary access so that it can access our version control system and uh, get the code from the github and this will add the terraform cloud app in my uh, version control system i will show that to you so here we'll go with install which will install the app for us now here you can see it is able to see the repos that i have in my github account so let me quickly log into this so here you can see uh, i have one two three four five repos and my terraform cloud is able to see those repos now here it is asking us which uh, repo do you want to use for this specific workspace so let's say we will go with this terraform hyphen first dot tf uh, you can give it a name if you want by default it is going with the default project the workspace and here you have the option to give your name for your workspace so let's say we will call this as first workspace uh, you can give a description to it and then click on create workspace so this will integrate the github version control system with our uh, terraform cloud all right so now my uh, i can make use of this terraform cloud to uh, pull the code from the version control system and use that to provision the infrastructure for us now in the back end what it has done is um, in the in the github if we go to um, settings so let me go to settings and uh, here if you go to applications you should be able to see the app so terraform cloud is installed and you can see it has a necessary access so at any point in case you know down the line you don't want to use github or you do, you want to revoke the access you can go to settings and you can just uninstall this app and you can revoke the access so that your terraform cloud will not have the access to work with this github account that's how you can integrate your uh, version control system with your Terraform cloud. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.